A significant explosion reverberated through Beirut's skyline, shrouding the city in chaos and uncertainty. The blast, captured vividly in video footage by a reputable news agency, painted a harrowing picture of the aftermath, showcasing the stark reality faced by those in the vicinity. As the camera rolled, a massive plume of smoke ascended into the sky, mingling with the debris that lingered in the air, producing a scene that would haunt the memories of many. The Israeli military confirmed that this explosion stemmed from a precise strike, targeting specific areas within the Lebanese capital. The implications of such an event ripple through the region, sparking heated discussions and a plethora of reactions. As details emerged, communities braced for updates, their hearts heavy with sorrow, anger, and uncertainty, leading to fiery debates about the ongoing tensions in the area. Citizens found themselves grappling with contrasting emotions, fear of further conflict intertwined with a profound sense of solidarity amidst adversity. In the Sin El Phil neighborhood where the video was filmed, the normalcy of everyday life transformed into disbelief and horror. Residents stepped outside their homes greeted by an eerie silence pierced by distant sirens and the frantic calls for help. The visual spectacle of shattered glass, crumbled buildings, and chaotic scenes penetrated deeply into the consciousness of onlookers. Each frame of the footage served as a visual testament to the destruction and a reminder of the fragile nature of peace within the region. As news spread, international reactions poured in, echoing a call for caution and de-escalation. Governments and organizations expressed deep concern, their statements underscored by the need for dialogue rather than conflict. While the city of Beirut mourned its losses, the global community reflected on the broader implications of such strikes, questioning the cycle of violence that seemed unbreakable. Views from different factions reflected the complexity of the situation, revealing deep-rooted historical grievances that fueled the fires of discord. In the aftermath, Beirut faced a wake-up call to address the implications of warfare within a civilian landscape, recognizing the human toll that comes with military engagements. As the dust settled, it became clear that rebuilding would take not only physical effort, but also a reassessment of strategies to foster peace. The explosion, while a moment of terror, also sparked dialogue about urgent humanitarian needs, prompting discussions that transcended borders and highlighted the universal quest for safety and stability.